Good morning, folks. Another day, another dollar. Today is Tuesday, and these are the top five things to know today in financial markets. Kicking things off with number one, the total number of uh, deaths from the uh, coronavirus outbreak rose above the 1,000 mark uh, as of Tuesday morning in uh, China. However, the total number of new confirmed cases slowed uh, for the first time in, uh, or, or for the first time since the uh, outbreak uh, was uh, first uh, discovered, and that is uh, something which financial markets are latching onto this morning. Uh, the uh, China reported 108 new virus deaths, uh, bringing the total uh, count to 1,016. Uh, there were 2,478 new confirmed cases down from more than 3,000 a day uh, earlier. Uh, the total number of confirmed deaths uh, currently stands at 42,600. Uh, so really, we'll be keeping an eye on uh, the uh, updates of coronavirus cases. And if the slowdown does continue, uh, perhaps that could offer a hint that uh, the uh, disease uh, might have peaked already. Uh, however, experts at the World Health Organization uh, have declared that it is still too early uh, to uh, make such an announcement. On to number two, besides the coronavirus outbreak, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell will be in the spotlight today as he heads over uh, to uh, Capitol Hill. Uh, he will testify uh, his first day of his uh, biannual testimony in front of Congress. Uh, kicks off today at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, the Fed chair is expected to reiterate that the U.S. economy, the US economy remains in a solid place and that interest rates are uh, at, at likely stay at current levels uh, for the time being. Uh, however, of more importance, perhaps market uh, watchers will be very keen to see if uh, Powell gives a nod uh, to the coronavirus uh, outbreak and fears really that it will drag down uh, global growth along with it. Uh, so keep your eye on that, as well as any uh, hints from uh, the Fed chairman regarding the, uh, the Federal Reserve's plans for its balance sheet expansion. Uh, he'll be sure to uh, uh, field a few questions on the topic uh, from uh, lawmakers. On to number three on Wall Street, global, st uh, uh, global stock markets pointing uh, to another uh, strong day on Wall Street. We do see the Dow futures up around 70 points at the moment after jumping 170 points on uh, Monday. Uh, U.S. stocks got off to a strong start to the week with the S&P 500 and NASDAQ both closing at record highs on Monday. That rally looks set to continue on Tuesday. Uh, so overall, the feel-good mood on Wall Street uh, continues as we continue to discount uh, any virus fears. On to number four, earnings will also remain in focus. The Q4 earnings season is slowing down. We do get a a couple of names reporting uh, today, which will be a focus. Ahead of the opening bell, athletic sports retailer Under Armour uh, will release its latest uh, figures. Shares are up 13% over the last three months. Uh, so we'll, I'll be keeping an eye on the company's uh, 2020 annual forecast to see whether there's more room to run in that. Uh, after the closing bell, Lyft, uh, the ride handling company, reports its latest figures. We saw last week uh, very decent numbers from its rival, Uber. Uh, so we'll see if uh, uh, Lyft follows suit. Uh, shares are down 30% since going public last year. Uh, so investors really aren't on for the ride uh, as of now. So we'll see if uh, those results uh, change their minds. And finally, number five, New Hampshire primaries are also in focus. Uh, following the debacle in Iowa uh, earlier this month, we'll be see, uh, keen to see if uh, Bernie Sanders, uh, the Vermont senator, uh, manages to pull out a victory. Uh, Sanders' policies are viewed as a negative uh, for the stock market. So we'll see if uh, he can continue his momentum. And uh, perhaps if he's viewed as the uh, Democratic front runner, uh, that could have an effect on equities as well. That's it for me for today. May the trading odds be with you. Have a good day, everybody.